Hello, in this video we're going to derive the firm's cost function from a perfect substitutes production function. So here is our perfect substitutes production function where L and K represent units of labor and units of capital. Let's assume that the wage is $20 and the rental rate or price of capital R is $10. First thing we'll get is a marginal product of labor. We're going to take the partial derivative of the production function with respect to labor and we get back 40. Without using calculus, it'll always be the parameter in front of the L term. And the marginal product of capital will be 10, just a partial derivative of the production function with respect to capital. And with perfect substitutes production function, it'll just be the parameter always in front of the variable K. In this case, uh, the marginal product of labor divided by the wage will be greater than the marginal product of capital divided by the price of capital. So the marginal product of labor is 40. Dividing that by the wage of 20, that'll give us 2. And that'll exceed the marginal product of capital divided by the price of capital. So in this case, the firm always gets more added output from the last dollar spent on labor than the last dollar spent on capital. So if you were to spend one more dollar on labor, your output would go up by two, where if you were to spend one more dollar on capital, your output would only go up by one. So you get more bang for the buck, in this case, by buying the labor input. So the firm will not buy any units of capital. It will only employ labor because labor provides, again, more added output per dollar spent. So going back to our production function, we're going to set k equal to 0 because labor provides us, again, more marginal product per dollar. So setting k equal to 0. And now we're going to just solve this for L. So q equals 40L dividing through by 40. L equals q divided by 40. Now we can go to the cost part of the firm. So as we mentioned, k equals 0 and L equals q divided by 40. The firm's total cost can be thought of as a wage times units of labor plus the price of capital times units of capital. Substituting in $20 for the wage and then substituting in for L, Q divided by 40, we get this. R, we said was $10 and K is zero. So now just simplifying the right hand side, we have the firm's total cost equation, output divided by two. So if the firm were to produce, say, 40 units of output, it would cost the firm $20 to do that. Let's do another example. Example 2, same production function. The only thing here I'm going to do is lower the price of capital to $2. And in this case, the marginal product of capital divided by the price of capital will provide more added output per dollar spent. So 40 divided by 20 will be less than 10 divided by 2. So in this case, we're not going to employ any labor. L will equal 0. So going to our production function and plugging 0 in for L and then solving for K. So you'll have Q equals 10K. Solving for K, K, e K will equal Q divided by 10. So from the last slide, L equals 0 and K equals Q divided by 10 total cost and now making our substitutions the wage is 20 L is 0 in this case not going to hire any workers because capital always gives us more bang for the buck more added output per dollar spent the price of capital in this example is 2 and then K is Q divided by 10 and simplifying here is our total cost equation alright that's it I hope you found this video helpful